Sitra and in this video we will be discussing how fruits affect your blood sugar and also what are some of the best and worst fruits that you should be eating if you are diabetic. So stay tuned! So you might have heard that you can't eat fruit if you have diabetes. Let's clear this myth first and for all because if you are diabetic you do not have to eliminate fruits from your diet but yes of course you should be mindful about the amount and types of fruit that you eat the thing is the fruit has carbohydrates and a form of natural sugar which is called fructose which can raise your blood sugar levels but it can still be a part of your regular meal plan because it's full of vitamins, minerals and powerful plant compounds called phytochemicals. Now thanks to phytochemicals that eating fruit may lower your risk of heart disease, cancer and stroke and also boost your overall health. Now these benefits are super important because diabetes is linked to a higher risk of heart disease and other problems. Another thing is that Many fruits are high in fiber. What, now what fiber does is that it slows your digestion and makes you feel fuller which in turn helps prevent blood sugar spikes and also helps you keep like an overall healthy weight. Now how does the fruit affect the blood sugar? There are two reasons you should be careful when selecting fruit if you are diabetic. One because of its sugar content, secondly because of the carbohydrates uh, in fruit. Fruits contain natural sugar called fructose. When you eat fructose, the liver quickly breaks it down, which then leads to rise in blood sugar levels. Because fruits are rich in fiber, they won't cause as much of a blood sugar spice as you would be experiencing with foods that have added sugars because fructose accompanied with fiber in food kind of slows down the gastric emptying and that basically prevents the sugar spike. Another thing you can do to avoid sugar spike is to pair fruit with protein. Now this combination will help you stabilize your blood sugar and boost uh, nutrition absorption. So the next time you make your protein shake, simply add fruit of your choice, preferably berries, apple or other fruit of your choice that has low glycemic index. That's another thing that you should be watching out when you are eating fruit in diabetes. Uh, this is something I'm going to talk about in a little bit but if you are not a fan of drinking protein shakes then just simply have your berries with some cottage cheese, uh, melon with maybe a sprinkle of flax meal, um, you can have uh, apple and peanut butter that's a great combination. You can also have your peaches with yogurt. Now let's talk about carbohydrates and fruit. Carbohydrates obviously are going to raise your blood sugar since your um, bread, pasta and other meals have carbohydrates in them. So if you eat fruits rich in carbs as well, you will end up spiking your blood sugar way too much. So it's important that you count your carbs intake and be mindful of the amount of fruit that you intake. Don't just blindly eat all the fruit, fruit in the world just because it's good for you. In general, you have to count your servings and portions of fruit. One serving of fruit has 15 grams of carbs, but the serving size can be very different depending on the type of fruit you're uh, taking. Here on the screen, I have a chart that shows serving sizes of different fruits that give you roughly about 15 grams of carbs. Feel free to take a screenshot of it and use it as a guide to control your fruit portion. Uh, you can see um, half a medium sized banana or apple. You can also incorporate citrus fruits in your diet like oranges, lemon, limes and grapefruits. Just be careful with grapefruit because if you are diabetic, there is most likely a chance that you're going to be on statin medications which is a class of cholesterol controlling medication. A grapefruit has a compound that can increase the potency of statin medications which may lead to higher risk of uh, the side effect of the statin medications which is the muscle pain. I also recommend eating avocado. It is a unique fruit that is 
high in healthy fats and low in carbohydrates. It's a good source of fiber. It also helps improve insulin sensitivities and there are so many ways you can um, have it. You can have an avocado egg sandwich, you can eat it in salad, just make an avocado dip. It just tastes delicious and has tons of benefits. Now these foods that I mentioned are your best possible choice if you are diabetic. But in terms of worst food, or just the foods to avoid, I would say there is no such thing as worst food because all foods deliver fiber and their nutritional value is great. But unfortunately, foods like uh, bananas, pineapple, and mangoes get bad rap for their high sugar content compared to berries or some of the other foods which have low glycemic so what I suggest is don't avoid them altogether. Instead, what you can do is focus on eating them in a way that doesn't spike your blood sugar too quickly. For example, if you eat a banana by itself, your blood sugar will rise fairly quickly. But if you pair a fruit with foods that have healthy fats in them, such as your blueberries or berries with walnuts or your apricot with mozzarella cheese, uh, you will decrease the influence of fruit on your blood sugar. Because the fats slow down the absorption of glucose from your food and prevent your blood sugar from spiking too quickly. Foods like nuts and nut butter uh, plain yogurt, cheese, and even avocado will help blunt your blood sugar response when eating fruit because their protein content and fat content in them is going to slow down the uh, gastric emptying of the fruit and slow down the blood sugar spike. In terms of watching out your fruit portion, I would say in general just having a handful size of fruit three times a day is appropriate or you can just simply have two cups of fruit divided throughout the day uh, a one cup serving would be like a one piece of fruit for example an apple or a peach or a one cup of cut up fruit which can be a mixture of different fruits just remember to pair it with protein or fat because an apple as a snack can raise your blood sugar faster than an apple with let's say an almond butter which is high in protein the bottom line is whether you have diabetes or not, fruits are your friend. Definitely intake them. Just br branch out apples and bananas and eat a variety of fruits, especially like blue, red, and purple fruits that are high in antioxidants and they don't raise your blood sugar level too much. Try not to eat fruit alone. Pair it with a healthy fat like nut or nut butter to slow digestion and blood sugar rise. Also consume dry fruit and fruit juices in moderation and if you have diabetes just remember to count the total grams of carbohydrate not just the grams of sugar but the grams of carbohydrates are also important in that case because that can also raise your blood sugar all right so that wraps up today's video i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys next time Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos.